Hello and welcome to my first narrated video for the Hobby King Go Discover height test. So here we are just doing some quick pre-flight checks, making sure everything's okay. Turn the aircraft round and now I'm going to run flat out across the field and lob it in the air. And there it is. Okay, so just getting a bit of a feel for the aircraft, make sure that everything's responding as I want it to, just before I decide to make it go a massive distance away from me. Safety first and all that. So here we are, look, 270 odd foot. Nice bit of sunlight there. So I'm doing just over 50 mile an hour-ish, which is good enough speed, I think, to start into a climb, which I am doing at around about 20 feet a second. Bit of static there, nothing to worry about. Bit more there, getting a bit more worried. Okay, it's so passing 500 foot, still doing 40 mile an hour, 20 feet per second, so we're all good. So when I start to get down to around about 25 mile an hour, I'll sort of level out because, well, I don't want to stall. So here we are at 800 foot, still climbing just, just gently. Leveling out, getting a feel for it, just seeing where things are. Now at this point I test my return to home because I can still see the aircraft so I think I might as well test that just in case anything does go wrong. At least I know the systems are okay so sort of inbound again to the home position now. Plenty of wind speed into a bit of a climb. So here we are just passing a thousand foot, 30 mile an hour, 17 or 18 feet per second climb so keep it going. A bit of static loss there but I'm if it lasts for more than about five or six seconds, that's static, then I'll bottle it. But normally I'll just try and sort of fly through that. I mean, it could be because it's getting late at night. I don't know, a bit of cloud cover sort of thing. It could be all sorts, really. But it, anyway, it cleared, so I continued the flight. Coming up nicely to 1,500 feet now, 20 mile an hour speed here. So I think I need to level the aircraft off here, gain some more airspeed before I uh, start another climb otherwise you're just going to stall the aircraft and it, you know you're going to lose perhaps a hundred foot or so just trying to regain the aircraft so leveled off at about 1600 foot over 35 mile an hour so stick it into another climb this this aircraft the go discover climbs really nicely at around about 15 to 20 feet per second without losing a lot of sort of airspeed or ground speed really so that's handy Again, speed's coming back down again, look, so in a minute I'll drop the nose down, straighten level flight, gain a bit more speed again. Just decreasing the rate of climb there slightly to try and get some speed back, so then the speed's jump straight up, look, 30 odd mile an hour. So at this point I've leveled off and now I'm just checking all the information on the screen, checking the, the speed, the height, the distance from home, voltages more importantly. Again into another climb at 40 mile an hour, speed drops off a little bit but it's going to as you climb. So coming up towards 2600 feet, still at 20 feet per second climb rate. Again because of the speed dropping off, level the aircraft off, gain a bit more speed. Now I'm turning towards home because I don't want to go too far away from me while I'm doing a height test. So I'll start bringing it back in towards home and then commence another climb. Now we're flying downwind, so we're really motoring now. 50 odd mile an hour, perfect for another climb. So the nose will come up in a minute and that's what I shall do. So here we are, downwind again, 50 mile an hour, 2800 feet, stick the nose up, get a bit of altitude right into the sun, coming up towards 3000 feet now. 
Again, if you look at the distance in the bottom center of the screen, you'll see I'm not that far from home. Sixty mile an hour now, so perfect for a climb. Again, between fifteen and twenty feet per second, just climbing like nobody's business. Brilliant. Now having a bit of a look around to get my bearings, realise I'm coming up towards the motorway. Not really an area I want to be in, so I'll commence a turn to sort of come away from that. It's a bit of a safety thing more than anything, really. And there's the turn away from the motorway. So now I'm back down to about 2,600 feet, having a bit of a look around trying to get my bearings. I know the area quite well, grew up around this area, so not difficult to recognise the roads. This certainly isn't something that I would have done in an unfamiliar area because, heaven forbid, such, such, should something have gone wrong, the aircraft goes down in unfamiliar territory, just take ages to find. The field on the crosshairs now, interestingly, is where I'm flying from so I am now descending and in a minute I'll poke the camera upwards to have a look and it's quite a nice view of the world as we're descending back down towards where we're, uh, where we're based almost a hundred feet per second we're carving off now bit of a level out reduce the throttle a bit reduce the airspeed a bit now we're down to 500 feet I'll start commencing finals Just nice, lazy turns, apart from that one, which was a bit severe. This is the field that we're flying in now. Well, obviously, it's the field we're flying in. I mean, it's the field I'm flying from. So now the aircraft's in full manual mode, so I'm flying this line of sight as opposed to FPV. I haven't quite gotten the minerals to land in FPV yet. So nice tight turn, try and carve some of the speed off. Unfortunately, into the wind is also into the sun, so you can't see a lot. And then just bring it in for a nice bit of a nice-ish type of landing. Okay, and that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you very much for watching.